Hi friends. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days Day 6. We're going to try and go quick today because my partner's been making music. Not sure when he's going to get back to it. I sent him a message to say, hey I'm filming a video and I wasn't sure he'd see it. Uh, he obviously didn't because it was shortly after that that he started putting music through the speakers. Um, anyway, looks like it greed. It's really interesting, huh? I liked this writing experience. Um, honestly, I like this pen. I like, I like the capping. I like that it's a click cap, you know, it's a nice change. But yesterday, today we're moving on to Envy. Someone asked for greens. You're getting it. And I felt like this was a good pen for Envy. It's a fine nib. So I thought with such a dark ink, that would be nice. But also this could have worked for Lust because, yeah. I got a chocolate cookie under my nails. I just took a shower. How do I have cookie under my nails? Because I just ate cookies. Um, anyway, I got this pen because the pen I really, really, really wanted was over a thousand dollars and that was not gonna happen. Um, this is the Le Bon Rainbow Skeleton. So I have forgotten how to do this. Off to a good start for wanting to go quickly. Good job, Maria. Well, Merged too far, spilled ink over the side, got no ink in the pen. Off to a great start is what I meant earlier when I said off to a good start. What ink? Oh gosh, out of the corner of my eye, I see something rolling away. It's fine, it's the bulb syringe. I'll just do this. We love that this bottle is here uncapped after I just had a big ink accident, right? We love that for me. In the grand scheme of things, you know what? I'm not finishing that sentence. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, I'm not finishing that sentence. That's what we were going to say. Yeah, I bet y'all are envious of this situation, huh? Huh? No? No. section is so inky. Um, so are the threads. This, this is my hand. I, you know, like, I'm glad I didn't finish that sentence. That's all I'm going to say. I should have just played Zelda. I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom and I'm had put it down for months and now I'm like back in it and I'm not gonna say addicted because I really could stop if I wanted to but I don't want to which is a good place to be with a game like that because it's long if you don't get that urge to just play 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 well if I don't get that urge to play 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 I'll never finish um right on what were we doing I think we were talking about this ink oh my gosh look there's it's on here. It's some right there. I'm not going to try and clean that off because if I do, I'm going to smear it. First, let's write 30 inks on here. This is very juicy. There's a surprise. Diamine. Cult. And... Seven Deadly Sins. Kind of a quick scroll today, huh? 
Envy. This is going to be so sheeny because this is so wet. <laughs> With ink. Um, I was like, I lost the cap. This is why you always put it on your finger, friends. Post it to your fingertip. Okay. Now... I'm showing the ink where I want it to go. This is obviously a very full bottle. I'm hoping that it won't all be the super sheen covered thing because I want to see this base green. Plus, my preference for sheening inks is for ones that do not take over. I didn't even write the pen over here. What is happening? We better make this quick. Proceeds to make one of the slowest videos ever. Flip on. Rainbow. Skeleton. Fine. So the reason I got this in fine, I don't know if I've ever t told that story. I hadn't been, I mean, I still only wrote with fountain pens, but I hadn't been like buying pens or inks or not very frequently at least. And then I came across, because I foolishly allowed emails to come to my inbox or something. Maybe I went to a website because I needed a converter or I don't know. Um, and I saw this pen, I'm not going to say which, that was much like this, but quite a lot more expensive. And then I found that one, but it was sold out almost everywhere. And we're going to do this next. Um, the place I found it had it, but only had, medium was sold out. So they had extra fine, I think, probably fine and broad. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to use a broad. I got the fine. That was a mistake. Although, it's a good nib. And if I use an ink like this or um, writer's blood, it's, it's, it's all right. Except, you know, I write larger and I like it, it, my handwriting better with a broader nib. June 2024. Day six, ink. I didn't write the drink I had yesterday. Did I on the other days? No. I did here. I did. I don't have a drink today. Well, I have water. I have water and chocolate cookies. I would share if you were here. Okay. Splatitude. I let them all go in the same place. It's getting everywhere. I just need you to know this. I hear the pitter patter of little feet upstairs. Doggy feet. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna choose to believe that that's a green exploding heart and it's exploding from envy. Tell me what you see though. Trust me, something you're not envious of 
the cleaning I'm going to have to do. Why am I trying this now? And I still continue. I'm angry with myself, irritated with myself, and yet I persist. That's the wrong pen. I beat a boss, two bosses, I think, yesterday in Zelda. I know, you're happy for me, thank you. One of them was a pretty major boss, and I felt good to have made that progression because I'm gonna have to wash this. Um, I don't know, if you've ever played Zelda, how do you approach a, specifically a game like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom? How do you approach a game that's that vast? I tend to, you know, wander around and then get stuck doing side quests or stuff that'll like open up more of the map for me and then I have to go back and do the story and then it's like, oh yeah, I accidentally already did that. And something I think is cool is that Zelda at least will say like, oh, you did that already? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> like they allow for the fact that you may have in your rambling already done this thing that they weren't leading you to until later. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to need that bottle again. Here's Envy. Look at how quickly it dries. That tells me is it's super saturated, but I don't, but I think that has made it flow less. Like look at how quickly it's drying too. Um, so, yeah, sometimes you think with these inks that are super saturated that that means there will be uh, more juicy writers, but I've found that it actually can be the reverse. So stuff that's super saturated and stuff that's like super watery, these are the ones that tend to be like, Ugh, would you just write? Um, you can see some of that base color here which I like. And I think it's actually coming out way more on this because it dried so quickly. I don't know if you can see. Look at the difference. Same ink. Um, all right. What now? How now? Oh, that's all the stuff. So if we can do the calendar page, is this dry enough? I'll just blot it. I have a paper towel. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. But we know what it's made up of. Cool. I just tried to pop the cap on this. I made pizza the other night and now I want pizza again. Do you have a favorite like weeknight dinner? Do you have a fallback? Lately our fallback has been um, kimchi fried rice. Super fast if you have the rice already cooked. If not, you can actually make it with freshly cooked rice, at least from a rice cooker. Um, there's directions on how to accomplish this on serious eats, but the teal deer is just let it like fluff it and then let it lay out on the plate while you get stuff going. But for real, it's like, I don't know, 10 minutes of cooking, 15 minutes of cooking, more time in prep depending, but I should make a video of it. Um, yeah, I think that's all the things. There's no way this is going to be dry enough to do the calendar page, but look, it is dry in places. It's so cool. Don't forget, tell me what you think it looks like, please, and thank you. Um, right on. We've made it through 
day six. I'd say unscathed, but I'm covered in ink. I'm not covered in ink, Maria. And I have to go wash some stuff. But that's cool. I'd have to wash it anyway, eventually. So here we are. Does that look good? I think that looks all right. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, friends. Bye.